Scripture reading, 2 Timothy 4.3.4 For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to fables. Introduction Friends, once again today I wish to speak about a difficult but important issue that has infiltrated many parts of the Church, the doctrine of Calvinism. There are some who embrace this system, a doctrine that twists the message of the Gospel and undermines the love and grace of God. Calvinism is not just a different way of thinking. It is a faulty system that draws people away from the truth. We are here to speak truth in love but we must also be firm in recognizing the dangers of this doctrine. Calvinism, a man-made system, not God's truth. At its core, Calvinism teaches that God has predetermined who will be saved and who will be condemned, and that humans have no free will in this process. But I tell you, this teaching does not reflect the heart of God as revealed in Scripture. In fact, those who embrace Calvinism do so of their own free will even while claiming that people lack free will. How is it that they deny the very thing they exercise in choosing this doctrine? Let's examine why people might choose this dangerous path. 1. Unsaved and preferring lies over truth. The Bible tells us in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10-12 that those who are perishing are deceived because they refuse to love the truth and be saved. Many who cling to Calvinism are unsaved because they prefer lies over truth. They would rather believe in a doctrine that makes salvation inaccessible to most, rather than accepting the simple and clear message of the gospel that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Calvinism is a lie that distorts the heart of God's grace. 2. Hating the Lost and believing in doom. Calvinism teaches that most people are hopelessly doomed because God has only chosen a select few for salvation. What does this say about those who embrace such a belief? They hate the lost, believing that the majority of the world is beyond hope. But Jesus himself said, I have come to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19.10 The heart of the gospel is a message of hope for all, not despair for most. Yet Calvinists embrace a system where only a few are chosen and the rest are left in darkness. 3. A Lack of Evangelism The Calvinist doctrine doesn't encourage evangelism because if God has already determined who will be saved, then why bother spreading the gospel? Those who follow this line of thinking often don't like evangelizing, because it's inconvenient, it's hard work, and it requires sacrifice. But Christ commanded us in Matthew 28, 19 to go and make disciples of all nations. A system that undermines this command is not from God. 4. A desire to appear intelligent. Calvinism appeals to some because it allows them to use complex theological terms and feel intellectually superior. They wrap themselves in academic language. Throwing around terms like predestination and limited atonement, as if these are badges of spiritual maturity. But let me tell you, Jesus didn't come to make the gospel complicated. In fact, he came to make it simple, so that even a child could understand. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. Acts 16.31 The gospel isn't a puzzle for intellectuals. It's a gift for everyone. 5. Unable to think for themselves. Many who embrace Calvinism don't truly understand it. Instead, they rely on prepackaged literature and theology handed to them by others. They've read Calvinist books, listened to Calvinist preachers, and adopted their theology without ever truly wrestling with Scripture on their own. But God calls us to study to show yourself approved. 2 Timothy 2.15 we must not rely on others to do our thinking for us. Each of us is responsible for seeking the truth directly from God's Word. Sixth, a works-based false gospel. 
Though Calvinists claim to believe in salvation by grace, their system subtly introduces a works-based gospel. How? Because Calvinists often suggest that you can determine whether or not you are one of the elect by observing your own works. But the true gospel of Christ is not dependent on our works. Ephesians 2, 8-9 reminds us that we are saved by grace through faith, not by works, so that no one can boast. Calvinism's subtle works-based righteousness is a perversion of the true gospel of grace. 7. False accusations and name-calling. Finally, those who embrace Calvinism are often quick to name-call and falsely accuse anyone who disagrees with them. They label non-Calvinists as heretics or unorthodox, and they tear down anyone who challenges their system. But this is not the behavior of someone who has the love of Christ in their heart. Jesus said, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. John 13.35 Calvinists who engage in these tactics are hypocrites, claiming to follow Christ, but acting in a spirit of pride and division. Conclusion Stand firm in the true gospel. Friends, Calvinism is a faulty system that distorts the truth of the gospel. It is embraced not out of submission to the Word of God, but out of human pride, intellectualism, and a desire for control. But we are called to stand firm in the simple, clear truth of the gospel. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 let us reject the confusion and false teachings of Calvinism and hold fast to the truth that salvation is available to all who call on the name of Jesus. And let us be a people who love the lost, who share the gospel boldly, and who walk in humility, trusting in the grace of God alone for our salvation.